Yo, what's going on everybody? First upload here on the channel of Modern Warfare. And this one's gonna be more of a discussion slash my thoughts on Modern Warfare. It's not a bad game. It's not a great game. There's definitely plenty of things that could improve. Um, there's definitely things I'm not happy about. Obviously, whether Infinity Ward will listen to the community and change the things that need to be changed or they just completely disregard everyone anyway but who knows but I've, I've got a few things that I've, I've, I've seen on Twitter I've seen in the you know Twitter sphere of people just generally complaining about the same things and I want to put it like a bit of a discussion so if you guys agree with anything disagree what you guys think should be changed drop it in the comments because like uh, so many people have like 50 50 ideas and I don't think a Call of Duty has gotten this much I would not say hate but I'd say a lot of controversy surrounding it pre-launch and like with now the launch it's been three days and people it, there's a lot of people not happy with it and there's not as many people happy with it than there is not happy with it but i'll start off with the obvious there are a lot of good guns there is not that one overpowered gun there's not guns that just do absolutely shit all the guns are good i rate the guns and i enjoy using most of the assault rifles and most of the SMGs. I think the MP5, the M4 is good, the MP7 looks great. Um, and then obviously, maps. There's there's honestly not one map that I enjoy. I think the one I enjoy the most, I, I, I don't even know the names of them. They're like some Russian Spetnaz names, I have no idea. I don't mind the bridge one if you can control it, but it is quite frustrating when you've got a good team and they just hold you down and spawn trap you with snipers. But I could definitely would enjoy some Modern Warfare remastered um, maps like bring back High Rise, Rust, like Shipment, something like that. Bring back some three three lane maps, some smaller maps. I think that would do the game really good. The camos, gold camos look nice. I think that the camo grind itself, that's good. I like that. It is extremely hard. And that's what you want. I think in Call of Duty Black Ops 4, I completed Dark Matter second week, maybe third week, um, and it was with zero effort. Like I, I, d I didn't even like lose much of a KD. Like my KD didn't drop at all. It was actually quite easy, which is annoying because you want Dark Matter to be something that's like extremely hard to get. And it shouldn't take you more than three weeks. But I think it's called. I actually have no idea what it's called, but no one's got it yet so that's obviously it's sort of hard to know what it looks like but gold does look pretty sick at the moment myself i'm working on the m4 and i've got it like 80 percent done i think i have to get some mounted kills and i think it's kills oh the hit fire ones and then that's pretty much it and i'm done so that'll probably be the next video is unlocking gold with the m4 and a, a decent class setup as well Movement speed. Now, movement speed could be much quicker. It's obviously coming from BO4, um, where the Call of Duty was extremely fast. It was all about rushing. It was all about pushing. That's what I love. And it's not that I don't like this game, but for someone who had like a 600, 700 score per minute, going down to this, where I have a 180, 220 score per minute, it's, it's hard to get used to. And especially with the actual movement of your character slow, aiming down speed slow, there's definitely a lot of issues that could be fixed there. Playing solo, I think, is extremely hard. A lot of people camp in this game, and having teammates who don't get UAVs, who don't get, like, you give you any support, it's hard. Like, in a split second, I mean, like, literally 0.2 seconds, you get aimed down and shot, it's over. You're dead. Like, without a teammate to help you there, who knows what they're doing. It is extremely hard to outgun one, let alone two people. With most of the maps, as you would know, there's too many windows. You can get shot from like 35 different spots at once. Like that should not be a thing. Like, yeah, the the three lanes are boring, but like, you literally don't have to worry about anything else. You can literally just focus in front of you, focus behind you, left and right. Not like literally three different angles in like four different areas it's it's impossible no player can be that good to like outgun someone get a turn on like you, you can't turn on players in this game even with people with mediocre aim it is extremely hard to turn on someone i personally think this is probably the weirdest call of duty just in the retrospect that it doesn't feel like call of duty it feels like battlefield it feels like um 
yeah, it does. It feels like a, a, a weird siege movement, a weird battlefield movement. The maps feel like battlefield. This doesn't feel like a Call of Duty. I've played every Call of Duty. I've maxed multiplayer, like literally level 1000, max level on everything but World War II and Call of Duty Ghost. My personal opinion, they just want very good CODs for multiplayer. Um, yeah, so I know I know what a good COD feels like. I played every COD. I know what it should sort of feel like, and this just isn't it. Like I don't know what the goal is, but this just isn't Call of Duty for me. Sniping. I feel like for snipers. This is a really good COD. The maps are big. There's a lot of aim down like spots. Like it, it, it's good, but the aim down speed of the snipers is quite slow. Like you, you can literally see someone, go put the kettle on, make a cup of tea, and then you aim down. Like that's that's not good. Like modern warfare with the intervention with um, all those like you know the top tier snipers that the modern warfare series has brought are like. They're top tier, like their quality, like you aim down fast, it's all about that snappy movement, like the literally the um, the quick scopes. With this one, I, like, I think your quick scope, literally, you could, you could go for a walk and come back before your sniper aims, and that just, that's just a letdown for, I feel sorry for the sniping community who have to put up with that. And um, and then pretty much, if you die to a sniper, there's no way anyone's quick checking you. It is a seven second hold down hard scope, 100%. You die too quickly, and I, I feel like that needs to be addressed. Coming from Black Ops 4, one of the CODs which was medium to hard, I guess, like medium to long uh, death time, which was good. Like, you could legit get a four feed in the, like, with, with the same health, whereas in this Call of Duty, you're lucky to kill two people who are both shooting at you. I, 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 I'd be very surprised if anyone could get a, a three or a quad feed of them actually shooting at you. Because you just, you die so quickly, like, and there's so many guns that do so much damage as well. The shotguns are overpowered, as you can see on the screen. The Olympia, like, set, like, seven meters away with one shot, like, it's ridiculous. I also think Claymore's broken. Claymore's are 50-50. They either do a thousand damage and you die instantly, or they don't go off. Like, for me personally, I'll put a Claymore, I'll put a Claymore down and it won't go off. I'll walk around the corner and I'll die from a Claymore literally five meters away. And they're everywhere. You can get them, you can legit put as many claim claim mores. I can't say fucking word. As many down as you want. If you get a little ammunition pack that keeps like regening your um, ammo, you can just keep feeding them. You put like 20 around them out. I feel like they should reduce it to having one per life. Or if you put one down, it removes the one from the other area. Which, I don't know. I just, I, claim mores are so overpowered. But this is, a, this is supposed to be a, an enjoyable game, yet I have to like literally focus around every corner because I think there's a claymore there. There should be like a ticking noise or something, something really loud and, and prominent, but you know, who knows. Uh, the health regen, I feel like once you get shot, it needs to regen quick. Like you can't kill someone and then get in another gunfight. Like, or it needs to have like a health bar. You need to be able to see how much health you have. Not just like some red dots on the screen, like or some blood. Like you need to know that I, I'm, I just got shot. I got shot for 60, I'm down 140. I can push this now, or no, I'm down to like 30 health, I need to just chill, like, or, you know, the stem shot's good, but, like, I don't know, I feel like we shouldn't have to have a stem shot, that's just going back to, like, the BO4, uh, the BO4 days, and obviously, I, th I think we could do with some smaller maps, and then, yeah, actually, the smaller maps would probably make it harder, to be fair, because you'd just be constantly getting shot, you'd be constantly, like, dying, I don't think you'd be able to go on a good streak, you'd have to always be aiming in, you'd have to always be pre-aiming corners, It'd be extremely hard uh, to go on to get a flow on the game. I, I would say. Now, one thing people don't sort of enjoy: when you spawn, you spawn in Uganda. You have to walk through the legit the savanna just to get into the middle of the game again, and then you die instantly and you do it all over again. I swear, like if they had a, a cage tracker or a miles tracker in the game, dude, your character would be running for days. Like it is ridiculous. There needs to be a spawn input, like a spawn input sort of area where like you can you can be next to a teammate who's not in trouble in the middle of the map, like something like that. Like you literally spawn in your like at the starting point where you get dropped in by the game. It's silly. I feel like it's the stupidest thing. I obviously that would that would change with smaller maps, but you know, it's just that's something I definitely am annoyed at. I spend fifty percent of the game running back and spawn obviously, oh just don't die, but you know, 
It's, it's so easy to die in this game. It's, it's legit ridiculous. Uh, I like the gun camos. The gun camos are in-depth. For once in my life, I haven't completed diamond or gold in like the first day for AR. Like, I literally haven't even got my first gun yet. It is extremely hard. It is extremely long. And I feel like that gives you a bit of a lifeline. It gives you some, gives you some like cod cycle to enjoy. Like you're not going to complete everything in a week, and then you're like, oh shit, multiplayer's crap. I'm not going to bother um, because you've, you've, you've still got heaps to do. Like it's going to be extremely hard. Like I, I guarantee a month from now, two months before the first person gets the conus, I think it's called. Um, which is good. That's what you want. You don't want to complete gold camo and diamond or whatever it is in uh, the first couple of weeks Because then yourself Gets extremely bored of the game quickly because you got nothing to do There's no dead silence perk. People say your dead silence is in the game. It's not. You, I've used it. It's it's not in the game I, I can hear Billy Joel on the other side of the map tiny shoelace Like how, how does that work? Like Someone with like some really good headsets compared to like someone with an Apple earphones or something, it, it's a disadvantage. I can legit hear people. I got like a two hundred dollar, three hundred dollar headset. I can hear people as they spawn on the other side of the map. I can tell exactly where they're going, exactly where they're coming. And Dead Silence seems to be a perk. You need to be able to equip that. It needs to be in the red, pink, whatever section it is, um, and equipped it because you just you you can sound whore. Sound whoring is extremely prominent in this game and that should never be a thing. This is like the first Call of Duty with that dead silence. Um, and then instead of running dead silence, you ha you miss out on your ammunition box, you miss out on your, your power bullets, your, all that shit, which is just silly. It's just some things that definitely need to be changed in this game and I don't know who the hell will come up with it, but it's very, very poor. Uh, a couple of small things, I know it's silly, but like you can't inspect your weapon. Like, uh, so you see, so you get gold camo, you finally complete, you finally get the first gold camo, and you go, I want to, you know, I want to go inspect this. You can't, like, you literally can't see shit. And for, for me personally, that is extremely annoying for thumbnail and content and shit like that because you legit have to, you, and if you go into a private match or a local match, None of the camos are unlocked, you have to still unlock them, so you literally have to go into a private match, waste freaking five minutes of the game trying to find a cool little spot with some blue sky where you can sh like fake reload and shoot your gun in the air, and I shouldn't have to do that, that's just, that's bullshit, I don't want to have to do that, but it's something little. And then again, for someone personally like me, who doesn't have the full YouTube setup, theater mode, like I've done so much shit. And I haven't been recording, and I was, I've got an older PlayStation, I think I've got like the second or third one they brought out. I don't have the Pro or the Slim or anything, I've got like the old brick. When I clip something, it comes out in like 280p, like I can't, I can't upload that shit, I, um, I wouldn't feel good. I, I use my Elgato through my MacBook, and I upload gameplays. Most of the time I'm playing solo at the moment, I don't really have any people that I used to play Black Ops 4 with or whatever that are playing Modern Warfare right now, so I'm just, I'm honestly just constantly recording, because um, I don't talk in game chat. And I, if I if I do get you know a streak because I I got on a 17, and then of course what do you think I died to? A claymore. I went on a 15. Of course, what do you think I died to? Someone sitting in a corner. And both of them, or the guy who was sitting in a corner, I, I watched him. He literally heard me. He waited. He waited. He waited. He shot as I come around the corner. And that's just not cool. That's just not cool at all. I uh, I, I definitely didn't appreciate that. Um, but for anyone, the campaign is great. It's awesome. I've played like halfway through it. Probably one of the best campaigns I've ever played. Quality wise, content wise, graphics wise, it's great. But anyone who is an OG Modern Warfare 2 gamer, which most of you probably are, I would have loved to see some offline special ops. Like, oh, bringing back those maps where like you should just sit there and snipe, hold your mates. Like, that'd be awesome. But anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's just going to be my thoughts, obviously. I do it for most CODs. Um, I'm, I'm averaging like a 2 KD. Yes, 200 score per minute. It's tough. I, at the moment, I'm honestly just working on gun cameras. That's all I want to do. I don't really care about you know getting the highest level. I'm like level 35 at the moment as I'm recording this. And I, I'm honestly not phased. Like, I know this is going to be a long COD cycle. So I'm not into rushing, I'm, I don't want to get to max level and be bored with the game in like a week, like I'd rather just take my time, 
and maybe let them do some updates and shit like that. But yeah. So anyways, hope you guys do enjoy. Make sure you guys drop a like. We much appreciate it. Drop me your comments of what you think needs to be improved. If you agree with me, if you disagree, let me know. I'm not here to bitch and moan. I'm honestly just giving my opinion. I've played every multiplayer. I do know a lot about like the Call of Duty multiplayer and how it should be played and what's good and what's bad. So I appreciate your opinions down below. Don't go down there arguing or anything like that. And I'll catch you again in the next video. I'll be unlocking gold camera. Peace.